Now, as a club golfer, we need to make golf as easy as possible. So when we're inside 100 yards, like this scenario right here, we have one method to think this about. This is looking good. And I promise you, if your confidence is down the dumps, this will take it sky high. I literally mean sky high. Now, this is what we're facing right here. We're 89 yards to that flag. This is a bunker here, by the way, just short. Tough shots. Now, this one method is going to give you 12 different shots. <laughs> 12. If you think three, six, nine, 12, all with one technique, there will be no flag you cannot access. This is the deal breaker, right? If you want to lower your scores, being good from this distance is crucial. Now, what you'll get from this video today are these key points right here. How to stand to a pitch shot, how to strike a pitch shot, and that crucial thing, all about distance control. Come on, do this with me. Now you're probably thinking, Alex, how on earth can I have 12 different shots with one method? Well, really easy. The method's gonna have three different positions and that's what I'm referring to that third point on distance control. So if you had three positions with your 58, three with your 54, three with your 50, and three with your pitching wedge, that would be three, six, nine, 12 different shots. I was just checking my maths there as I was doing it, I was like, Please make sure I've done that with maths, right? So let's start with stance. And all you're gonna need is three golf clubs. One golf club you're going to hit, the other two are just to give you those boundaries of how you stand to the golf ball. Right, first things first, target line. So let's just use the ball to start with here. This bright green one, we'll save them for the distance control. So if we place that there, I want you now to place your first golf club down parallel to your ball to target line. Well, I it's pretty damn good. I just close that, you know, give it that little bit of a check there. Along that line, the one club I got on the floor, all the way to the flag, you have two parallel lines there, all the way to target. That's key to get that right first. I then place my next golf club down, where at this end point, I should be able to fit one, two club heads into this gap. One, two. So this is your station of exactly how you're gonna stand to the golf ball. Let's say this is gonna be your shoulder line and this is your feet and your hip line. I think a lot of people go wrong here when we try and stand to a pitch shot exactly as we would like a full seven iron. That is killer, absolutely killer. So just before we stand to the golf ball, just grip your golf club in the middle so you've got even amount of grip top and bottom. Then making sure the ball's slightly towards the back of your stance, if you had a stance around two and a half club head widths apart, you wanna focus on your feet and your hip line being down here, this golf club, but your shoulders being parallel to this golf club. This is gonna help you swing towards target. Think, if my shoulders are pointing both left, I would swing too much in that direction. So those set of points are two and a half club head widths apart stance. Make sure the ball's slightly towards the back. And finally, we've got that weight on that left hand side. That's exactly how I want you to stand to that golf ball. So that's set up sorted, literally nothing else to it. Now, before we go into how we strike the golf ball to our second point in this video, I just wanna give you a bit of feedback because the first time I make that setup change with students, they say to me, Alex, I feel a lot closer to the golf ball. My chest feels over the ball. So if you've got that sensation, do not worry. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's now talk strike. Two keys, light grip pressure, let's say six out of 10, and keep that weight on that left hand side, 60, 40 throughout there's literally nothing else to it. You've got to learn to love that ground, learn to love taking that divot. So we've got our setup, we've got our weight on our left hand side, back, through. That's exactly how we hit a pitch shot. Did you see that flight? That was a mega feeling. Look at that divot. Look at it there. It's straight towards target. It started from the ball in. Look at that beauty. I will put it back, don't worry. I am gonna put it back and also you can tell it's quite muddy today. So the final piece of this puzzle is distance control. Let's get you those 12 yardages. But I know just watching this part of the video, your confidence is gonna start to climb. 
hitting shot after better strike, after better strike, after better strike. Now I want you to pay attention to the three flights that we hit. I'm gonna do all these shots with my 50 degree, but by all means, find like your favorite wedge, if that's 54, 56, 58, whatever's your favorite, use that to start with. The first position I want you to use here with the exact same setup, now bear in mind, this one will probably just get over the bunker, won't go towards the flag. This is prime on my final position. So it'll be good to see where this one lands and see if we can get it dancing around the flag. So the first position I want you to look for here, one of three, same with every wedge, set up exactly the same, is hitting shots with your shaft parallel to the ground to shaft parallel to the ground. Now, by all means, when you're hitting this shot away, it might travel a little further, but it's having that intention towards that position. So here, watch this one away, and this is my first one. And for reference, that one carried 56 yards. Now, just think about what I say here. I'm not trying to hit the ball. From the position I take it back, I'm trying to feel the club fall onto the ball through the hip. Almost like that analogy of, if I was to pull a lucky, a lucky band, we'll use not a Manchester slang, Alex. If I was to pull elastic band back and let it go, the further I pull it back, the faster it travels through. So at my first position, I pull it back a little bit, it just goes through a little bit. So we should start to see those yardages climb. So first position was shaft parallel to the ground. The next position is arm parallel to the ground. So, that position right here. Left arm parallel to the ground for a right-handed golfer and right arm parallel to the ground for a left-handed golfer. And you'll notice that I went arm parallel to arm parallel on the way through. And for your reference right here, that one carried 84 yards. So you can see a steady increase. We've got position number three which I'm hoping I'll be able to get this dancing just past that flag. It might go a little bit far, but let's get a bit of a cam up there by the green. Final position with the exact same setup is hands to shoulder, hands to shoulder. Feel as though you're just pulling the elastic band a bit further back, letting it roll through just that little bit quicker because it's got more time to gather that momentum. This is looking good. Be the club. <laughs> You'll know before me. Oh my, that one landed so close, didn't it? This is so good to see and so good for you to experiment. So you can see, this one right here was the last ball we hit away. That carried 94 yards. There is roughly 10 yards between these two right here. So that was the third ball I hit hands to shoulder, hands to shoulder. And that's as far back as I would swing a wedge. That's the arm parallel to the ground, arm parallel to the ground. And then the first one we hit, all the way back there, is shaft parallel to the ground, shaft parallel to the ground. So hopefully you can see there, following that exact method, you're gonna have three shots with every single one of your wedges. And if you carry four wedges, same method, same setup, is going to give you 12 different yardages. There won't be a flag you can't access. Thanks so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you need help with.